Marks on the beach. My name is Jennifer Myra and I'm a feminist. That's just because I'm trying to describe myself in one sentence. I know that once I said feminist, everyone was like, what? Nigerian lady feminist? Yes, I am one. What are you gonna do about that? Look, um, I do believe I'm a feminist and everyone has told me this because I believe that women should have the opportunity to hustle, to grind, to be their own people. Women should be able to have decisions and women should be able to be themselves. So that's why I'm a feminist and that's why I believe I'm one. I am a writer and a blogger. I've been doing that for a couple of years. I, I have two books published and um, one of them is titled Screw It, Go Ahead and Quit Cold Turkey. The other is titled Miss Independent, Misunderstood. And th by those titles, I know you already know that it sounds very feminist-esque. <laughs> my, my relationship with Jerry is so amazing. Jerry is like a mother figure to me in the United States. Um, I've been knowing her for a long time. She is also my manager and she's the director of the PF. She helps me to um, manage the donations we receive and ship them to Nigeria and all that good stuff. She came on board um, ready to work and you know some of the major decisions I've made in my life and my career overall have been because of Jerry by my side. Hey listen these are books that have already been ordered online and since the last event you know the yoga event so you know what we need to get these signed and get them out in the mail. Okay. So you have a moment? No, not, not take it, don't please, make it. Please take it. Take I it. I mean, it's just six. I, I know, but that's okay. You can get them done. Go ahead okay. and get them done for me. Okay, Candy. Go ahead, Candy. Candy. Finish her up. Hi, Hi my name is Jerry Morris. I'm also known as the boss. Hey, somebody's got to do it. Why not me? I met Jennifer Apare one day. She came in to my office on a job that I'd posted. She walked in the door. This young lady, oh my gosh, she was so captivating to me. For the first time in my life, I saw me as a young girl and what some of the things that I wanted to do. So I was intrigued by her and I knew so badly I wanted to work with her. She and I worked together and she told me about the story, the story about the Pamela E. Ray Ray Foundation, about the relationship she had had with her sister and how they at some point had discussed as little girls that they were gonna grow up to help the people of Nigeria. So when she cast me if I wanted to be a part of this, it was a no-brainer. We worked tireless together to send lots of clothes back, mosquito nets. We do so much to try to help the people of Nigeria. I knew as a young girl that I would have some connection with Africa, but I didn't know where it was going to come from, and it came through Jennifer. I was so excited to be a part of what she's doing right now. And ladies, I just want you to know, you come for Jennifer, you're coming for me. My name is Latoya Sunde. I was born in Edo City, Oviedo, Pataki, Mehi, and um, I love my family, I love my friends, I am a hardworking lady, and I love to have fun. I love to be the center of attention, I, and I usually am the center of attention. And sometimes I get pressure from, you know, family and my girlfriends to get married, but I'm not worried. So yeah, let's tell me about this guy. Is this like a real stuff or is it just like one boyfriend? That well, we... we've been together for six months, but our age, six months long. Six months is a long time. So is he going to marry you or he's just dating? I don't know, I'm confused. I mean, I hope so. We've grown. You know, we're old. When you get to a certain age, you don't just get into relationships just for the relationship's right, sake. Yeah. But does you he know? understand that, though? He does, he you does. You know what I mean, Jennifer? No, I don't oh, no, love no, you, no. girl, but you he see does. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He okay, does. Okay, oh, when you get to a certain age. I'm young, I'm fabulous, and when the right man comes, he's gonna wanna snatch me up, and I am going to be ready for that. But for right now, I'm doing me, making my money, and I'm okay with that. My name is Jennifer, AKA Jenny Coco, like they all know in Dallas. And I'm a mother of two, and one on the way. And I still feel very fabulous. It doesn't stop my hustle. I'm from Cross River State in Nigeria, and I'm so proud to be a Cross Riverian because we are the best in all we do. I'm a chef, I cook for your soul. And um, I'm well known in Dallas, and I've done a lot of um, jobs concerning, you know, catering for other people, even great events, big events, weddings, and the rest of it and I bring it down. Why do you think I'm still married to an Igbo man? Hi everyone, my name is Noyen Walker. 
I'm from Imo State, that Igbo girl. Um, I used to live in Nigeria, then moved to UK before I moved down to Dallas. I'm a professional stylist, and this is what I do for a living, and I love what I do, I must say. Jennifer has introduced me to these ladies, and I mean, I've been having fun. Meeting them has been like, you know, awesome, and uh, I mean, so far, so good. I mean, I'm enjoying them. I don't know that I'm just be paranoid, or if someone is trying to play a trick on me somewhat, but I've been getting these anonymous calls with either a private number or a known call or something like that. This person is calling me non-stop. When I mean non-stop, all out. 2 a.m., 1 in the morning, like ridiculous, 5 in the morning, calling me saying things like, you know, it's inferring that this production, I haven't involved them, so for that reason, it's going to be a problem. Really? Yeah. Like, like, I mean, the, the anonymous color, what does the person say? Like, saying like, like you're a boss or what? you're proud or you're, do you think you're a feminist or like, what in this anonymous color they talk, actually? I've been getting all these strange calls. Okay. Love it. <laughs> Oh, maybe three, three or four times. Now, yeah, two times we're going to work. Okay. Is it not going to work? Four, five, no slap. You know, that's right. <laughs> Don't get busted. Is that the lock? Do I need to come unlock the door? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to get it? What's up again? The one is for the friend. I, you don't miss my mom. When you get to certain age, you will not have brought your friend. Oh, really? And, and you are walking. Oh, see, you're walking away again. Nice. Very nice. Go. That's okay. Walk away like you always do. See me see trouble.